Hi everyone! Hello! <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. Hannah here, and this actually is. Who are you? I thought you were going to say it for me then. Oh my goodness, yeah, this is Glenn, who unfortunately has the hard time of being married to me. So, and when this video goes live, it is actually his birthday, and I convinced him to do the husband tag with me so that you guys could get to know him a little bit. So, yeah, because he's always there in the background, doesn't always say much. So, yeah, I thought that'd be a nice thing. Yeah, introduce you to everyone. <laughs> so, yeah, with that in mind, um, I have found two different versions um, of the husband tag. So, I've gone and kind of like blended them together and made it so that my husband tag only has 25 questions instead of 35. Only. Only? Yeah, I repeat. The other ones were 35 questions. Would you rather have done those? At least the less. <laughs> so, yeah. If I keep looking down, because I've written them all down my trusty notebook. And I haven't seen them yet, so I haven't got a clue what the question is going to be like. That was half the fun. <laughs> so, yeah. With that in mind, let's just jump straight in. Some of these are ones that I will answer as well. And we'll see whether <laughs> or not our answers match. Which is going to be fun. So, question one. When and how did we meet? Oh, been we were friends before we became a relationship. Yeah. Wh when and how did we meet? Relationship would have been about three and a half years, getting on to four now. And I think, if I recall correctly, we were friends for a good two years. That's not what I asked. So That's not what I asked. You're looking at about That's six years ago when we first met. Did was it? Between six and seven years. Okay. Ago. And then how did we meet? It was at church. Okay, I'll give you that one, yeah. I was at church. Alright, question... Did you say, though, exactly when? Yes, I can say, and I'm going to go with, I think it's more six years than anything. Because we didn't really talk much outside of being on kids' team at church. But we knew each but other. But we knew each other. So, yeah. yeah. Alright, question two. First impressions slash thought. But when we first met, yeah. when we first relationship. No, when, when we, we first, first when we first when we met. When we get home from work, I do my first. I know. First impressions of me when you first met me. No, you're asking. <laughs> yes, I am. That's the whole point. So I couldn't say the devilish sort of grin smile, could I? <laughs> I suppose it's just more of your your bubbly side of you. I'd say. <laughs> I was way. very in your face, wasn't I? But it's just the bubbliness of you. I would probably go with. Aww, yeah. My, my my first impression of you was how great you were with kids. I was just, you were a big kid and how easily you just, you got on with them and how well they liked you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this one I'm not actually sure about because we were together for a while before this one happened. So, I legitimately, I'm not going to be able to correct you in regards to it. So, next question is... What and where was our first date? Maybe you ask him. Exactly. So this is why I'm saying I can't correct you. I want to say like a cinema, maybe. I want to say that, yeah. Just like movie, like dinner and a movie. Yeah. Yeah, because I know that we've been like together for a while before we finally got a date. Because obviously I still had Ailey. Yeah. So this one I'm curious as to see what your answer will be. Question four. When did I meet your family? To be honest, I can't remember. I met your family about three days, or like within the first week of us getting together, and you hadn't told them that you were seeing someone yet, and then I came and your mum was just like, you're seeing her, aren't you? And you were like, damn it! Because <laughs> you were just really Maybe. bad at hiding it. Maybe. <laughs> I remember that, because I remember your mother. <laughs> Hi Dawn, if you're watching. <laughs> um, okay. This one, you should remember. You should completely remember this. Question five is, how did you propose? Oh, yeah, I remember that. We had a holiday two nights away without the kids on a yacht. No, boat. Boat. Yachts and, are bigger. Uh, <laughs> it was on the second night, because it was only two nights and we were coming back, so it was on the second night before we had to travel back to drop the boat off. Um, after going for a meal at a pub restaurant, that's a really back. nice meet, actually. And uh, it was about 10 o'clock, I think it was, at night. Give or take, I'd gone in to get a blanket. And uh, we were outside on the back of it. I think we were playing a board game or something at the time. I can't remember no, we were looking at the stars. But then I asked you to look at the stars. 
And then at that point you were looking around up in the sky, you turned around to then realise that I was on one knee behind you. Yep. So yeah, <laughs> oh, that no. I remember exactly. You remember that really well, yeah. And then I cried. Lots and lots. I remember that bit. Okay, you've actually already answered this. So, question six, how long have we been together? Yeah, that's about four and a half, five years. Nearly four years, I think. Yeah, four years last November. So nearly four and a half, I think. Yeah. Between four and a half. I'm saying four and a half, five, because your logic is slightly different than my logic. Yeah, we have different logic about when we actually first like got together. So, yeah. I don't know if you guys have that with your relationship. Like, one of you thinks you started seeing and being together before the other person did. Because that's what happens with us. So, yeah. Okay. This one, I'm really curious as to what you're going to say. Question seven. What's my worst habit? Hang on. Would you, when you say, what's your first... Worst, worst habit. Habit. What, in regards to what you do? Yes. Or... What is it something about me that you would consider one of my worst traits? What I think is annoying. Yes. What about me annoys you? Um, oh, there you are. <laughs> be careful how you answer, it's your birthday. Alright, alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm going to be honest. Okay. I actually don't know the answer to this. Prime example, she said during the day that we need to get in the habit of tidying up after ourselves. And then Nicholas Madam here goes on her laptop, opens up about three cereal bars, put the rubbish on the windowsill. Still there, still there two days later. Yeah, okay. I'll give him that. I I'm, I do sometimes tidy up after myself, but in regards to little things, I'm terrible. And on the flip of that, question eight, what is my best habit? Doing the laundry. <laughs> Does that count? I don't know. I'll consider that. Oh, why? <laughs> Never mind. Question nine, what do you love about me? Good boy. <laughs> You're more of a good boy than I am. Next question is about me. Where do I want to travel to? Like, where are some of my top places that I want to travel to? Well, Venice is on there. Venice is on there, yeah. Um, Egypt, maybe? No. No. I'm not pyramids, but you're right in regards to something with a god. Nope. On the line of Rome. Who, who has... I didn't do geography. <sighs> Greece. I'm Greece, <laughs> Not too bad. <laughs> All right, a really easy one. What's my favourite colour? Purple. That's his favourite colour too. <laughs> and his favourite set, and if I recall correctly, his second favourite colour is orange. Yay! Aren't I clever? And he doesn't actually have anywhere that he'd want to travel to. Because whenever I like do a boat dream of where we'd go after retirement and things like that, he's just like, I don't mind, babe, wherever you want to go. So... Yeah. <laughs> Apparently he doesn't want to leave England. Okay, this one I don't know if you're actually going to know the answer to because I don't do it that often anymore. But it's what's my favourite food or comfort meal? Chinese. No. My favourite comfort meal is sausages, mash and beans. <laughs> or a bee. I don't do it very often. And I don't know if you have a specific comfort meal. Normally whenever you're like upset you clean. So you don't really like do food. You clean when you're upset. He's the cliche. He cleans when he's upset. I clean when I'm happy. <laughs> so yeah. In theory the house should always stay tidy. But we have kids. <laughs> Question 13 is who do you think is the better cook? Me. <laughs> Fair enough. Question 14. Who's more affectionate? Me. Definitely. But question 15 is who's more romantic? Me. No, I'm more romantic than you are. It's Valentine's Day tomorrow. I've got him presents, I've got him a card, and I've sorted us some trips out. He hasn't bought me anything. Only because she's gone and bought her herself. She's so speaking to a friend of hers, like a sister, talking about, oh, I want to replace this, I want to replace that, get this and this. So I started eBaying and looking around, she goes and order it anyway on Amazon. However, I haven't bought this DVD for the past year. When we've had the issues with it. Oh yeah. He's had my Bad birthday. Of the year. No, no. But you've had last birthday and Christmas to replace this for me, oh. which you haven't. No, because I thought you said now that you want it instead. What did you? Sylvanian family stuff. Yeah, but I didn't necessarily want one that. But we're not going to get. No, we're yes, not going to get. We're not going to get. Around, isn't yeah, you? it doesn't. I wanted it for the kids. I wanted it because I'm a big kid. Give for them. So yeah, we're not going to get into a tip on camera. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I'm, I, I think I'm more romantic, but you're definitely more affectionate. Question 16, who's funnier? Me. 
yes, even though your sense of humour differs greatly from mine. Um, question 17. Who's more outgoing? Me. I got work every day, I then have to... We're n no, we're not getting into this argument. We are not getting into this argument. Alright, I'll rephrase that. Personality-wise, who's more outgoing? You. Thank you. I w I'm being really selfish. I want, an I want me to be an answer in there somewhere. <laughs> um, Only because I go at work five days out of seven. Sometimes have to get out of the house on the sixth and seventh day, so therefore she likes to go out a bit more because she gets stuck in the house. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be married after this film. <laughs> after this video, I'm really not sure. The same film. What are we going for an hour and a half, are we? Stop making fun of me. Mmm. 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 Stop it. Um, <laughs> Oh shit, shit, you plant. Right, so question 18. Which do we prefer, stay in or go out? Go out. I would have said we normally prefer to stay in. If we had the chance to, to go out, we would. That's a very good point. If we had babysit, who could look after all four kids, then we would. With proper planning, we do like to go out, but <coughs> most of the time, I don't like to stay in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, most of our time we stay in. There we go. Oh. Also, it's better on a bank balance staying in. Question 19. Have I ever... I'm actually curious to this one as well. Have I ever gotten you something that you didn't actually like? Probably not, to be honest. Oh! Okay, bit of, a, bit of a boost with that one then. I was actually expecting... I thought he'd have an answer for that. <laughs> okay, and then on the <coughs> flip of that, what's the best gift? 20, what's the best gift that I've ever gotten you? And obviously he doesn't know what he's got for his birthday because that, so he'll have opened that after this has gone live. <laughs> Don't really know, to be honest. Oh. <laughs> They're all about the same sort of level. Alright, we've actually kind of done, we've already kind of answered these ones because you ended up turning the habit questions into them as well. Because next one was going to be my worst trait about me. But you said that about leaving rubbish about everywhere, so yeah. we'll change that. There's one thing about my personality you don't like. You know I joke about it. Which means it's not really a joke, but go on then. You, when you watch movies and films that are, yes, a little bit sad, but therefore you seem to go the OTT sadness and stuff wrong. I life. can't help it if I cry and I'm a hormonal woman, <laughs> alright? I'm not in control of my hormones. I'm sitting there watching a movie with her and all of a sudden I'm here. <laughs> Love you too. <laughs> you rock. <laughs> um, alright, then my best personality trait. Yeah, you got me thinking. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Don't actually know, to be honest. Oh. Charming. I can tell you what his worst personality trait is. He's really... His sense... Oh. Sent to who? Yeah. He thinks he's funny. Sometimes he is funny. Sometimes he says exactly the right thing. Sometimes he's trying to cheer you up and trying to be funny and all you want to do is hit him. But one of your best personality traits for your compassion. Seriously, when I'm off on one and you're understanding and your patience with me, that's just, yeah, I couldn't ask for anything better. Yeah. Oh, and another worst personality trait, you can tell something's wrong. You know something's wrong, he's cleaning and deep blitzing the house. You ask him, what's wrong? Mm -mm, I know, no, I'm fine, babe. An hour later, three more rooms, completely deep cleaned. Babe, come on, talk to me, what's wrong? No, I'm fine, babe, I promise. Come the end of the night, I don't know what was wrong with me, babe, I'm sorry, I've just been off on one all day. Typical bloke. Does not talk about his feelings. <laughs> okay, so, question 23. Use one word to describe me. Beautiful. Aww, sweet talker. <laughs> That's two words. No, I didn't say I was going to use one word to describe you. Charmer. There you go, then. I'll use charmer to describe you. <laughs> Question 24. Do I have any strange or weird habits? Does picking your nose count? <sighs> so do you. You do that. No, no I, I actually say blow your nose because it sounds like a friggin' elephant. <laughs> You're mean. <laughs> You're mean. Alright. You asked a serious question. Yeah, alright, alright, alright. All right. I asked a serious question. Alright, and the final question. And I actually can't remember the answer to this one either. So I'm going to see whether or not he can. Who said I love you first? You did. Did I? Yeah. Aww. I honestly don't remember that. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Though in all fairness, a few of our other firsts, you don't remember how they happened properly. So I think I'm even on that one. <laughs> okay.
So, yay! They were the 25 questions that I put together in regards to our makeshift husband tag. If there is anything else that you would like to ask the man of mystery that is like, you are, but you're in the background of the videos, you don't really say much, aside from like monosyllabic sentences. So, meh. So yeah, if there is anything that you would like to ask him, please drop us a comment down below and I will get him to answer you, I promise. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new here, hi, my name is Hannah and this is Glenn and we are daily vlogging at the moment as well as three bonus videos a week like this one on Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays. So please hit that subscribe button, we would love it if you were able to stick around. And yeah, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up for us and we will catch you next time. Bye guys. Bye guys.